Hello and welcome back to my channel. You're probably wondering what this big pile of books is that I've got here on my desk. But I wanted to show you some of the books that I have been collecting that I want to turn into journals and hardback junk journals. I've got myself quite a selection that I intend to use the cover, use the inside pages, add to them and turn them into mem memory keepers. Um, they're all hardback and I got a lot of them from the world of books and the rest of them I actually got from the works. Now I've got this one, Tale of Two Cities. I have plans to take this apart, expand the spine, use the original pages with all the pictures in them. and turn that into like a carry about junk journal so I can record memories on the go. The next one, this was from the works. This is the Green Witch's Spellbook and it's got quite a bit of writing, a few pictures. I will be, I think, removing pages from this one. This one is if you can see there, it's actually sewn in signatures. So I'll have to be careful when I remove the pages. I have to remove them so that I don't bulk out the book too much. And that'll be another pocket book on the go. As you can see, it was only three pound. This one I actually got from Trago Mills. It's a... Uh, Modern Glossary of City Trees. And again, I will be taking out some of the pages, some of the pictures, covering up and creating my own junk journal. None of the pages that I remove will go to waste because they've got amazing pictures on them that I can cut out, cut round and use in my memory keeping. Another one that I got from Trago Mills is a vintage book of roses. Now I love the cover of this. I don't think I will be covering that up. And it has got some beautiful pictures in it that I can use. I mean, that's just stunning. I will be altering this again for another memory keeping book. I'm thinking of setting up a um, Etsy shop because I've got so many ideas for books that I want to create but I don't know whether I'm going to be able to actually fill them all so I might set up an Etsy shop and sell some of them once I've created them. Now this one is classic, F. Scott Fitzgerald, The Great Gatsby, and the good thing about this one are all the pages are glued in, so when I remove some of the pages, I don't have to worry about other pages falling out probably wondering why I'm going to take apart a classic book but that's the purpose I bought it for. Emily Bronte, Wuthering Heights. There is some damage that you can see but it doesn't bother me too much. It actually adds to the character of the cover. I'll be keeping the cover of this one because I think it's beautiful but this one as you can see never even been read. I bought this off of World of Books, which is a website that sells things, books and games and things that people have sold to them for cheap. 
and I picked up that one and also another one in the same style they are penguin classics now this one is far from the madding crowd and it probably sounds a bit weird but I will take delight in taking this apart because it's one that I had to read for um university and I really didn't enjoy it so again this is glued in so I can remove pages this one is absolutely massive another glued in page one the complete novels of Jane Austen now I bought this for the purpose of turning it into a junk journal but my husband did suggest that I cut out a square and keep cutting down and hide my chocolate stash in that one quite tempted we'll have to see on that one because it is such a large book I'm not entirely sure and the last one is Holidays and Hard Times, another hardback. It's got pictures in it. It's not my style of book. See, that really upsets me. So that will be either taken out or covered up. But it's got some great pictures that I could take out and use as ephemera. This is something that you don't usually see. Absolutely beautiful histor historical photos. So that is my book collection that you will be seeing on my channel as I change them into something that I will actually use. Anyway, I hope you are looking forward to seeing what I create with those. Um, subscribe to keep updated on what I do with those books and whether I sell them or not. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I will see you next time. Bye.